just one last question. Uh, to me, it, it, it's reasonable to compare you, I usually don't do this, to Steve Jobs and what he did for computing. Uh, I regard you as a visionary next generation person. This is a revolutionary company that threatens to change healthcare the same way that Amazon changed retail, or Intel and Microsoft changed computing, or Apple, yes, changed the cell phone. It could be that huge. JP Morgan of this generation, Sam Bankman Fried's FTX, yes. is, is slashing everybody's margin. And uh, average fees per transaction across the industry had to climb by 50%. A lot of that is is the man, Sam Bankman Fried. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Is anybody still listening to Jim Cramer nowadays? Guy seems to be wrong on everything, right? I mean, there was a lot of people wrong about the alleged red wave that was coming during the midterms. But man, I'm going to tell you, um, the good thing is that uh, at least you're not Jim Cramer, who... Uh, when he's wrong, he loses people money, right? He loses people millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And in this case, billions of dollars when he is wrong because he compared uh, now bankrupt Democrat donor Sam Bankman Freed to JP Morgan. <laughs> now, if you guys don't know who Sam Bankman Freed is, I'm going to explain to you guys very quickly here because this guy has been compared to George Soros in regards to his political donations to the Democrat Party. This guy is woke and he is bankrolling the Democrat Party. This is literally a get woke, go broke story. Okay, this is probably the biggest get woke, go broke story ever because in this case, uh, this guy is basically worth nothing after his cryptocurrency exchange, FTX, went bankrupt after Binance pulled out of a deal to acquire the company as they were having liquidity issues because they had some sketchy financing going on between this guy's hedge fund and the cryptocurrency exchange. The details of that are too complicated for me to get into for this video. This is not a finance channel. This is a political commentary channel, so I gotta keep it very high level. But yeah, this guy was doing sketchy stuff behind the scenes. Binance came in to try to save the platform and they looked under the hood and was like, yo, it's effed up. Uh, we got to pull out, right? Which has caused the uh, exchange to file bankruptcy. And now this guy is basically worth nothing, okay? Um, so I want to talk about this story because again, this guy was being compared to George Soros in the way that he backed Democrats and woke causes. Um, even as recently as the midterms, he, he bankrolled the Democrats and their performance during the midterm. So with that being said, I actually want to play a video here. Uh, so that you guys can kind of get a little understanding of who this guy Sam Bankman Freed is and what he's all about. Take a look. But Sam is not a traditional billionaire because he believes in the concept of earn to give. Which means his goal as a human is to make as much money as possible just to give it away. Earn to give. And that's exactly what he's doing. The amount of good that you can do uh for the future of the world is is really large and it's way more than you can do to actually make yourself happy with anything like that amount of money and he is funding everything you can think of global warming it's one of the biggest problems that we have to tackle together as a world covid 19 preparedness we have to be ready for the next pandemic neglected tropical diseases more than a billion people suffer from them we have to eliminate these diseases and of course animal welfare animals deserve to live just like we do it's also why i'm vegan sam doesn't need the money to buy a lamborghini or to buy a rolex or to impress his friends in fact his car is a toyota corolla hold on Where, where's your car it's uh that one there that's like what a toyota uh yeah it's a corolla why don't you buy a lamborghini man I didn't have any particular need for one. He wants to get rich in order to impact the world and change it. Yeah, that sounds all good, right? <laughs> he sounds like a good guy, okay? Good, good, good guy. Nothing sketchy at all, okay? He just wants to get rich to give all the money away. He's like the Mr. Beast of crypto, right? However, uh, Andrew Tate actually spoke on uh, this guy. And I want you guys to hear Andrew Tate's uh, take on this guy, his persona, and his goal to just give away all his money. Take a look. I've lived a very long life. I've met a lot of people. I've been broke, I've been rich. 
I've done it all. And 100% of the time when I meet a person who has lots of money and is very, very frugal with their lifestyle, they are not a good person. 100% of the time. I have a Bugatti, I'm sitting here, I've got a diamond Patek, I've got fucking six million dollars of watches. It's the people who hoard and live these very fucking boring, frugal lifestyles that are truly greedy and they're truly evil. FTX is a perfect example. If this motherfucker was driving a nice fat Lambo and he had a big diamond watch and was living a life which a millionaire should live, I would have trusted him a bunch more. But when he sat there and said, I only drive a Corolla and I give all my money away and I just try and hoard it all to just help people, an alarm went off in my head because everybody I know who is like this, 100% of the time in my human experience ends up being full of shit. Full of shit. What he is, is a dork who wanted to be powerful and influential. He realized that money won't stop him being a nerd because the girl he's hanging around with is still getting plowed by his blockchain dev. So he wanted to have power and he, when you want power, you need unlimited money. So he became infinitely greedy, trying to get as much money as possible to buy political parties, pretend he's doing charitable acts, just have influence and control over, over other people, then stands up and goes, I drive an old car and I have a cheap t-shirt. And you know what? You dumb believed him. You sat there and go, oh yeah, he's a good person. He won't famoose me for all my money. He doesn't care about money. People like him care about money more than people like me because people like me spend our money. So next time you meet a guy who's rich, but tight as Yeah, I think Andrew Tate has a point there, okay? I think he has a point about how, you know, it is kind of weird when you have people who are billionaires that don't actually spend their money and they're like, oh, I'm gonna drive like a Honda, <laughs> right? Like, you know, I'm a frugal person, okay? Um, and I don't really believe in buying a bunch of materialistic stuff. But at the same time, you know, <laughs> if I was a billionaire, I would buy something nice, okay? I'm not sure if I would be driving a Honda Civic. I think I would be driving something a little nicer than that. So I guess that Andrew Tate does have a point because I guess to a certain point, I can see how you can say that, well, those people care about money more than anything, okay? Because at that point, you can use money to control people, right? Instead of buying materialistic things, you know, contributing to the economy, right? At the very least, you're doing that. You're contributing to the economy. No, no, no. I'm just going to buy people, and use my money to exercise influence, which is exactly what this guy was doing. Uh, however, uh, this did not stop him from going bankrupt. So, so let's actually read about this because this is a crazy story. Sam Bankman Fried, the now bankrupt founder of crypto exchange FTX, is a prolific donor of Democratic candidates and liberal causes and infused at least 38 million into left wing groups during the 2022 election cycle. Bankman Freed was the second largest contributor to Democrat affiliated political action committees, PACs, and organizations behind only liberal financial magnate George Soros, who donated $127 million during the midterm cycle, according to Federal Election Commission FEC data. However, the collapse of FTX this week has called into question Bankman Freed's finances. A full fledged liquidity crisis forced FTX to file for bankruptcy on Friday and Bankman Freed's wealth, which was estimated to be $15.6 billion earlier this week, has sharply plummeted. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, the index currently estimates Bankman Freed has no material wealth. Quote, that's the biggest thing. Frank Bankman Freed tweeted Thursday morning, quote, I effed up and should have done better. Wow. Wow. Bankman Freed's philanthropic a collective, the FTX Foundation, which was committed to fighting climate change and other global health issues, disintegrated as a result of the crisis. The group has supported the carbon plan and given green to climate initiatives dedicated to achieving a so-called green transition from fossil fuels and the Good Food Institute, an organization pushing the expansion of plant-based meat. So yeah, this guy is funding the green agenda, right? He's funding the green agenda. His nonprofit, I guess, whatever you want to call it, uh, has went under, right, as a result of this. Leaders of the collective resigned Friday and said the group would no longer be able to perform its work or process grants. Quote, we're devastated to say that it looks likely that there are many committed grants that the future fund will be, un be unable to honor. They wrote on a blog post, we are so sorry that it has come to this. We joined the Future Fund to support incredible people and projects, and this outcome is breathtaking to us. During the midterm cycle, 
Bankman Freed funneled most of his contributions to protect our future PAC and House Majority PAC, both of which exclusively support Democratic candidates. Protect Our Future was the primary recipient of his midterm largest and received $27 million from the crypto maggot, uh, making him by far the PAC's largest donor. Protect Our Future, in turn, spent more than $24 million backing various Democratic candidates with ad buys and direct mail services. The PAC also transferred millions to other groups, including $900,000 to the Justice Unites Us PAC on April 1st, FEC Records show. Days after that donation, Justice Unite Us dropped roughly the same amount into canvassing for Carrick Flynn in Oregon 6th Congressional District. Flynn, however, suffered an 18-point Democratic primary loss to Andrea Salinas. Bankman Free also pushed $6 million to the Nancy Pelosi aligned House Majority PAC, which works to elect and maintain Democrats in Congress's lower chamber, and a half million dollars to the Chuck Schumer tied Senate Majority PAC. Additionally, the crypto magnet spent $2 million to the GMI PAC, which raised over $11 million as of mid October. Yeah, so this guy was spending an exorbitant amount of money behind Democrats. OK, including Nancy Pelosi's pack, Chuck Schumer's pack. It looks like he was involved in a, a pack that transferred money uh, to help uh, elect brain dead Democrats like <laughs> John Fetterman and other folks across the country. OK, so again, this guy is a big, big, big Democrat donor. Uh, he actually pledged to give one billion dollars through 2024, which which would primarily go to Democrats. Uh, he actually backed off of that and said he would give close to $100 million instead. So with that being said, I, I think the Democrats are probably not going to save him. Okay, And the reason why is because he pledged to give all this money, but then he backed off of it. So now they're probably pissed, right? They're probably pissed off at him. And I don't ex expect his exchange to be saved because his insurance policy wasn't large enough, right? You know, like some of the banks, during the financial crisis, okay, they got bailed out and some of them didn't. Well, the ones that got bailed out, they contributed to the political machine, right? They purchased their insurance policy by buying the Democrats, right? By buying the politicians. And in turn, the politicians made sure that they were, in fact, too big to fail because the government would bail them out. But in this case, this guy right here who backed woke initiatives, okay, who bought and paid for politicians, to push his agenda, he went flat broke overnight, and I don't think he purchased an insurance policy big enough for the government, aka the Democrats, to bail him out, okay? So I think this guy is just done, and it could not have happened to a better person because his goal was to give all his money away, right? So he should not be upset that he doesn't have any anymore, okay? So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.